guys, today I'm going to be doing my 8th book review out of my 50 books in 2020, 2020 challenge. Let's get on with this video, Abracadabra. Welcome back guys! Today I'm going to be reviewing a book that I think everyone has at least heard of once. Hey guys! Oh wait, what was that? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my eighth book review out of my 50 books in 2020 challenge. Today I am going to be reviewing a book that I think everyone has at least heard of once. Abracadabra. Victoria's Project. Welcome back, guys. So like I said, today I'm going to be reviewing a book that I think everybody has heard of once. You're like, what's this? This is the one that I made, and I am going to be doing a tutorial video next time, so keep tuned. If you have guessed right now, today I'm going to be reviewing Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's or Full Officer's Stone. I will have the other cover picture right here if you want. And this is the first book of the Harry Potter series. I am reading Harry Potter series. I read it all the way to book number six, half of it, and then I do not know. I do not know what happened. I just broke off. I did not read anymore. But I am rereading uh, them, and I'm. I never read book seven so I am going to try that after I finish all the way to book six this is book number one like I said and because I'm reading it for the second time I have discovered thing part scenes that I have not seen for my from when I read first time like tower part like when he accidentally leaves his invisibility cloak on the tower, right? Um, I did not pay attention to that. I did not know. And also the magic duel. Like, um, I did not pay attention that he will be, I thought, mouth, like, I did not pay attention to that. I did not pay attention to many parts. Um... But now I have, and I was like, wow, I really like this scene. So I am encouraging you guys to read this book. So, as you might know, Harry Potter. Harry is the boy who lived. The only person that Voldemort could not kill. So I got this. <laughs> So, yeah. Um, so, like I said, he's Harry Potter is the boy who lived, the only person who could, who Voldemort could never kill, even if he was a little boy. And but Voldemort could kill all the magnificent, the best wizards, and it just gives a nice, interesting opening to the whole series so that you can be interested. It's like a hook, it's a better hook than normal other stories and it's a hook that takes over the whole kind of like chapter. So he, we start at the story when he's at the Dursleys and he's not treated nicely, but then Hagrid comes and he takes him to Diagon Alley to get all his stuff go to the bank and get his money and everything like that. So he goes to Hogwarts to follow his dad slash aunt, sorry, his dad and mom slash parents footsteps. Um, um, when he goes there, he makes new friends and enemies. He accidentally ends up in the third floor corridor because he the stairs change and you do not expect where the staircases are going to go. So he made new friends, Ron and Hermione, and they 
all Harry, Hermione, and Ron all go into the corridor together because they were trying to go back to their class, but they couldn't. But, like, they saw a three-headed dog. Yeah. They saw a three-headed dog, and they had to rush out. They came back out, and Hermione was like, Did you see what it was standing on? And Ron was like, I, I didn't pay attention to what it was standing on. It was standing on a trap door. And then now they were getting cu they were they were they were getting curious of what might be under it, what might it be guarding. Um and then they wanted to find it, but of course they had the feast. So it was Halloween, and this is my second favorite part of this whole entire book. The troll part. I love, duh, the troll part. The troll part is, like, really, really fun because it shows courage. It shows friendship. It shows that friendship matter to Harry and Ron because... The troll was going to the girls' bathroom where Hermione was. And Harry and Ron risked their lives. Two people might get killed just because of one person. They risked their lives for Hermione. And I guess that's what friends are. So they, I think that really is a nice part to read. Um, it shows that they were pretty brave and strong. Now that now Harry and Ron and Hermione suspect that it's Snape who is the one who let the troll out because he was acting pretty strange. He was limping. They thought that he was bitten by the three-headed dog and because there was blood and everything. Then, of course, they found out that it's the philosopher slash sorcerer's stone that was being guarded by the three-headed dog under the trap door so now they want to protect the whole stone so they go and they go back to the three third 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 floor corridor which i think is pretty stupid but they did it for a reason. So they go back and they open the corridor while the dogs are sleeping, move the paw and everything. Then they go. This is my most favorite part. I left out some of the parts like the devil snare. I am not saying I hate those parts. I am saying... I love all the parts, but if I talk about that all, then it might take too much time. So they went, they played chess. They played giant wizard chess. And this is when my favorite part comes out because it shows that Ron was a true, brave, courageous person. He shows that he was a true friend. He, he sacrificed himself so that Harry could get who can could save the philosopher slash sorcerer's stone. And I think that was pretty nice of him. I chose courage and friendship at the same time. So that's why I love it so, so much. So after Harry passes and he finds out Quirrell is the one who is the one who actually opened the door to the troll and he defeats Quirrell. Voldemort, who was inside Quirrell, goes away to wherever he was. And overall, I have to give this book a 4.9, well, 4.8, 4.7. I would say a 4.7. I did not like every single moment of the book. I didn't like how this magical thing happened. But, like, they didn't describe it well. In the movie, they describe it so, so well because you can see it by your eyes. But in this book, you have to w use words to describe it. 
And I don't think that the first part, like when the Dursleys went to the zoo, it was not well described. But I still liked everything. Um, I am asking you, I'm encouraging you to read this book because it's a fantastic book. Other people have read it 16 times and they still enjoy it for the 17th time. So this is my end of my, this is the end of my book review. If you enjoyed watching, make sure to press that like. And if you haven't pressed the subscribe button and thank you for watching. And if you read this book, please go down in the comments, type down what you think about this book and we'll see you next week. Bye guys.